Lumi Drug Scan aims to reduce the harm caused by illicit drugs within our communities. Lumi is a service for frontline responders that allows them to analyse suspected drug samples in real time. With police, we developed Lumi to package up that science. Police said they intercept about 10,000 samples a year. Look, I think there were some preceded opportunities, which was investment in machine learning, investment in understanding portable devices, which actually set a foundation for us to combine that in a solution that met a New Zealand police need. 150 of Lumi's devices have been deployed nationally by the New Zealand Police, with 3,800 samples analysed in its first year of operation. And we can deliver the same kind of analysis for any law enforcement agency anywhere in the world. One of the reasons why we are able to actually succeed offshore is because of our forensic pedigree. It represents a $50 million annual potential. Really exciting, really rewarding for us to know that what we do is hugely valuable in creating real impact. An unconventional partnership model has set TDRI up for success with leading roading customers across the country. So Lincoln Agritech has developed this TDR technology that is a non-invasive moisture detection and you can tow an instrument above the road and measure the moisture content under the road without having to dig the tar seal up. It helps roading sector extend pavement life and reduce maintenance costs. We've got you know, Waka Katai, NZTEA, all fully engaged. Solving a global problem means that TDRI's technology also has the potential to create long-term financial benefit to New Zealand. So non-invasive moisture at speed uh, is a really, really good opportunity. w and Ventures got the initial capital to take the prototype to a commercial unit. There's a lot of climate change going on, a lot of moisture. Roads are, in this country are in a state of disrepair. What that enables is extended pavement life, increased ride quality and safety, so our taxpayers' dollar going further. This is a good opportunity for uh, tech export. We've got great partners, they're doing a great job of commercialising it, so we wish them all the best for the future. X-Frame is scaling rapidly with its game-changing framing system that could transition the building sector to a circular economy. X-Frame is a modular, demountable, circular economy wall framing system. Uh, we make buildings that you can pull apart. It's all about reducing waste, waste in construction and waste at the end of life of a building. We've been really generously supported by investors across Australia and New Zealand. The value of these fit-outs for the ANZ Bank is substantial. They're all reusable, so when they change their design, they can use them again. And that sequesters about 50 tonnes of carbon. In its first year of public sales, X-Frame kept six tonnes of construction waste out of the landfill and sequestered 35 tonnes of carbon dioxide. The commercialisation has gone really well. Uh, went into an accelerator in Australia, which for a company that only spun out three years ago is quite spectacular. So it has utility around the world in all sorts of applications. X-Frame is a product of the commercialisation ecosystem. It's that like stepping stone of support was the only thing that made it possible. 